Ubiquitin is a very small protein that acts as a little flag in cell signaling. Like phosphorylation, ubiquitination is a change of a particular amino acid in a target protein that allows that protein to change its function, go to a new location or form new protein-protein interactions. But where phosphorylation happens with serine, threonine or tyrosine residues, ubiquitin is attached to specific lysine residues in the target protein. When only one ubiquitin is added, the protein is mono-ubiquitinated. But ubiquitin itself has several lysine residues as well, so you can form a daisy chain of ubiquitin. This is called polyubiquitination. The way in which that polyubiquitin chain is attached determines what happens to the target protein. For instance, a chain linked on ubiquitin's lysine 48 sends the protein to be destroyed by the proteasome. But if you link the chain on ubiquitin's lysine 63, the target goes to the endosome for sorting. To attach ubiquitin to a target protein, you need three enzymes. E1 is an activating enzyme that grabs a spare ubiquitin floating around. It then transfers the ubiquitin to a conjugating E2 enzyme. And you then need a ligating E3 enzyme that grabs both the target protein and the ubiquitin bound E2, and pulls them close enough together so that the ubiquitin can be transferred across to the target. And if you want to form a chain, this whole process is repeated again and again until the protein has a long enough ubiquitin chain to be recognized by the proteasome and get degraded. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.